Welcome to C49 Hockey Breaks Sunday Special Upload. We have our second ever Pack Wars on the channel here. This time we have a box of 1516 Upper Deck Series 1. We are yet to hit the Connor McDavid on Six Pack Saturday. So uh, let's give it a shot here on the Sunday Special Upload uh, Pack Wars. So, if you haven't already checked out the uh, first Pack Wars on the channel, it was a box of 1718 SP Authentic. But, uh, we're here today with a box of 1516 Upper Deck Series 1. We have box number 359. 359. Alright, back here again with my friend E.P., nine so dive into this box i do actually know the uh the correlation of the young guns on uh, this box watch me probably be wrong this would be the one box that doesn't fit along so uh we want we'll save the young guns packs for last as uh young guns are uh, every time i've seen they are in pack one two Three, four, pack five, six, seven, eight, pack nine. So that is one stack. And our other stack here. We should have young guns in pack one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So, EP, you won the uh, last Pack Wars, and uh, you are my guest here on the channel, so uh, pick your stacks. Which one you want? Do you want this stack or this stack? Hello, everyone. EP9 here. So, last time, if you guys didn't see the video, I won with the right, my right side, which is C49's left. So, I'm going to take my right side again. All right. Uh, I guess I'm stuck with that. So, uh, let's put our... Uh, Suspected Young Guns packs. I'll put mine up here. Put yours by the scoreboard. We can um, both see the scoreboard. Perfect. Um, we we have 12 packs each here, so uh, we might end up in a tie, but we will cross that bridge as it comes. EP, you are my guest, so you make the first call on round one. So, with the first call, I'm going to say most points in a rookie season. Right. Or most points on the first season first that's... Stat line. That's correct. Most points. All right. I have a Shining Stars of Johnny Hockey. Johnny Goudreau. Uh, for... I have an all-base pack. All-base pack. All right. That is possible with a retail box. Uh, most points... You said? Yeah, most points in the first season or rookie season. All right. 13, <laughs> 9. <laughs> Jack Johnson didn't do me very good with this zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tyson Berry also chipping in with a nice zero. <laughs> Mike Fisher with 9. Uh, <laughs> PK Subban with 2. <laughs> I really hope you win this, dude. Because my top one is uh, Martin Hansel in the 07-08 season, and he had 35 points. Yeah, I will beat that. Uh, I have two players that will beat that. Jonathan Taves in the 2007-2008 season with 54, and Marion Gabrick in the 2000-2001 season with 36. All right, EP9 takes round one. All right, my call. Um, let's go with... Most career saves. Looking for a goalie here. Yep, looking for a goalie. <laughs> Suits me well. Uh, I hope you have a goalie because if he made <laughs> if he's made one career save, he be, he beat me because I have no goalie. But I do have a UD canvas of. Zemgis Gergerson. And I have no goalie either, so this one's going to be worth two points. 
Next but round would be worth two. I have Kyle Turris, UD Canvas. Two Canvas cards coming up there in that round. All right. So uh, third round here called by EP. Uh, so worth two points. Um, we're going to go with highest number on the card. Highest card number. All right. That is one that we should have a winner. I have a Young Guns here, which should not be in here, as the Young Guns should be in here. Do you have a Young Guns in yours? Maybe I got the correlation numbers wrong. No, nope, you have a Shining Stars, dude. Yep. No, I'm You have a Shining Stars. So uh, either, uh, either we're getting a extra Young Guns in this pack, or uh, maybe the correlation's wrong. Which, uh, I've seen a fair number of these boxes open, and uh, the correlation was the same in every box. But I have a Young Guns of Henrik Samuelson. And I have a Shining Stars of Philip Forsberg. Alright, well, I know I'm taking this round because I have a Young Guns, which is card number 213. And the highest base card number is 200. So, uh... Yep, you will take this one because my highest number is David Perron with 149. All right, and even if you don't count the Young Guns, I also have a uh, Matthew Perrault, which is number 195. So uh, C49 taking two points on that round. First time I've ever led on a Pack Wars, I do believe. So with the next call, I'm going to call... my call. Is it your call? Yeah, because we're on an even number. You oh, yeah. called first, I called second, you called third, I called fourth. So, with my call here on the uh, fourth round, I will take most right-handed shooting players. Goalies do not count. Okay. <laughs> None of my players, you can actually tell which way they shoot, so I'm going to have to look at the back of the card. But I have a uh, Shining Stars Blue of Jacob Vorchek. He's a lefty, so I know that. Uh, have... Looking on the back of the card, the way that they shoot is on the bottom right. So I have a right, a left, a left, a left, and a left. So I have one right. You have one right, and I have... One right, two rights. All right, so it looks like you won. What was your hit out of that pack? It looks like you also have a Young Guns. Uh, yeah, it's a Young Guns checklist. Young Guns checklist. Con Connor McDavid. David and Sam Bennett. All right, EP9 taking that round. Looks like... Uh, Looks like the correlation was uh, oh, off on this box as we've already hit two Young Guns. Uh, I highly doubt we're getting eight young guns. I have seen boxes where you get five young guns, but definitely, or sorry, seven young guns, but definitely not, not eight. So uh, hopefully we still got some young guns heat in this these packs here. But uh, continuing on with round five is your call. Uh, with round five, my call is heaviest player, player with the most weight. Couple, a couple players here that might uh, might save me here. 209, 230. Uh, Britt Hall does not have. So uh, my hit of the pack was a Shining Stars of uh, Bobby Hull. Sorry, I said Britt, but it's Bobby Hull. Uh, my heaviest player, though, is uh, Brent Burns at uh, 230. And I have an all base pack. And my heaviest player is what was your heaviest player, Chris? Two thirty, Brett Burns. Two. Oh my! I haven't had a player crack over two hundred yet. None of my players cracked over two hundred. All right, looks like C forty nine taking that round, taking the lead. Again, uh, heading into round six. 
I will take highest jersey number. Highest jersey number, okay. Hoping for a Wayne Gretzky. I have a Young Guns in this pack, so this correlation is definitely off in this, uh, this box. I have a Young Guns of uh, Giannis Kempinen. Giannis Kempinen e Young Guns. Another all-base pack for me. And uh, I said highest jersey number. So uh, I have... I have Franz Nielsen at 51. I have Mika Zabinijad at 93. I think you won. I think I, I, oh, I... never mind. I have a Young Guns. Oh, he has a Young Guns. It was folks. just stuck. I have a Young Guns of Kyle Bond. Kyle Bond. Young Guns? All right. So uh, these Young Guns packs are definitely off. But EP9 takes that round. I'd back up at three. And uh, your call. It's my call. Yep. So with this call, I'm going to call the tallest player. Tallest player. Okay. Looking for the Chara. I have a fairly good player leading off my pack here. I have another fairly good player. All right. I have uh, a Pecorini at 6'5. And uh, I have Blake Wheeler also at 6'5. Okay, I definitely thought John Klingberg was a little bit taller than 6'2. But uh, I got Blake Wheeler and Pecorini at 6'5. Uh, at 6'5, six five. At six five, yep. All base pack, folks. My tallest player is Kari Lettinen at 6'4", but I have a Young Guns. <laughs> this correlation is really baffling me, to be honest with you. Matthias Janmark. All right. C49 takes that round. And it is my call. I'm going to go with uh, card number closest to 74. Card number closest to 74. Okay. Hmm. Got another one of them. I have card number 79. I have card number... So yours is... 67. 67. So that is seven, seven off. And I had 79, which is five off. Yeah, so you win. So I will take that round. I have a UD Portraits of Bobby Hull. I had the uh, the Shining Stars earlier, a couple of rounds ago. So uh, got two Bobby Hulls. Two. And I got a UD Portraits of Yuri Hudler. Yuri Hedler, all right. And C49 takes that round. And uh, we have four rounds left to go here. So with this next call, I'm gonna call lowest card number. Lowest card number, okay. Take them with the card number. <laughs> I have another Young Guns, so uh, I believe that's our fourth Young Guns? Yeah, this so. box, I believe. All right, David Krejci is uh, my savior here with card number 15. Um, my Young Guns is of Nick Shore. Nick Shore, Young Guns. So one of my cards doesn't have a number. So that doesn't count. The, the, yeah, the hits definitely won't have a card number. So my lowest card number is 104. Eric Nystrom. And my hit is UD Game Jersey, Vladimir Tarasenko. Nice. But, uh, that's the fairly solid hit there. But with uh, my David Krejci card number 15, C49 takes that round. 
taking the lead to 6-3. So uh, EP9 has to win the last three rounds here to uh, force some overtime. And uh, it's my call. Um, I'm going to call most white jerseys. Most white jerseys, okay. And I have one, Seth Jones. But I have a, a UD canvas of Corey Schneider. Corey Schneider, UD canvas. And I only have one white jersey as well, and it's Frederick Anderson. But I have a UD canvas of Corey Crawford. All right. So as we have proven, proven here, uh, the correlation to the Young Guns packs in this box are not 100%. But uh, it's your call for two points here. Big, uh, big crucial call here. Uh, you need all three points remaining, and uh, this one's worth two. So your call, bro. My call for this round is most players to shoot left-handed. Most players to shoot left-handed. Goalies do not count. Goalies do not count. All right, I have a goalie, and I have a lefty, and I have a goalie, a righty, a lefty, a righty, a lefty, and a lefty. So that is four left-handed shooting players. I have a UD Portraits of Steven Stamkos. And I have a UD Portraits of Nicholas Backstrom. All right, and so that's one left-handed shooter for you. Backstrom's left. One left. Jeff Skinner is left. Yep. Scott Hartnell is left. That's three. Danny DeKaiser is left. That's four. Devin Dubnik does not count. Mark andre Fleury does not count. Tyler Sagan shoots right. And Marcus Foligno keeps shoots me in the game. Shoots left. Shoots left. Keeps me in the game. All right. EP9 taking two points. <laughs> As we come down to the wire here. Last round, before we hit some overtime, I got the call. This is for the win or for overtime. We will go with... <sighs> Big call here. Uh, card number closest to 56. Card number closest to 56. I have 22 is the only thing close. So, all base pack. Uh, you won. All <laughs> I can, base I can tell pack for me. Oh, oh, oh. All base pack for me, too. And I have two cards that beat Chris's 26. I have a Johnny Goudreau at number 30, and I have a Gabriel Landis Gog at number 47. All right. EP9 has made the epic comeback to tie the game. Which means we are kicking it into overtime. We have one overtime pack each. Overtime has been predetermined to be most total goals amongst all your cards combined. So the uh, on the bottom it'll say the total stats, goals, combine them all. At all three, the uh, the shining or not shining stars, but whatever the uh, the last card is, it doesn't have uh, stats. So there's three cards in here that will have stats. At the goal totals of all three together, and we will determine our winner. EP nine, you are my guest. You call your overtime pack. So. So far, I've had luck with my right-hand side. I'm going to go back with my right-hand side. I'm going to pick this pack right here. All right, and I will take my right-hand side. So we open our overtime packs. We are adding our total goals scored. So uh, as said, here is the lights out. Uh, you have uh, Pecorene. Pe <laughs> who couldn't score any goals uh, as much as he liked to, as much as Nashville would like him. Uh, I have our Tammy Panarin. Uh, as you can see here, there are no stats on the back of the Lights Out cards, so those cards will be disregarded. 
and our overtime career as you can see on the bottom here we have uh, career stats so I have Slater Cuckoo with four goals I have Connor Sheary with 48 goals which takes me up to 52 and uh, I have Alexander Wenberg with 33 which uh, will take me up to 85 goals. So, Chris Bakborski, I'm going to give you one player that's going to beat all three of your players, okay? He really likes the right side. I've got Alexander Radulov with 92 goals. Par Lindholm with... Alexander Radulov, 92 goals. There it is, folks. EP9 going 2-0 and o on the Pack Wars. Defeating the host here, C49, on the first two episodes of Pack Wars on Sunday special uploads. So, uh, and then to, fi on. to finish that pack, I have Parlintome with 53 goals and Victor Rask with 62 goals. <laughs> I honestly think all of your packs pretty much beat my entire pack combined. <laughs> All right, well, the host C49 here not having any luck on the pack or is falling to 0 and 2 against uh, against the guest EP9 here. So uh, EP9 takes all the cards again. There you go. There you go, my man. Uh, that uh, wraps up this pack wars of a box of 15-16 upper deck series one let's turn it around so you can see the entire thing here without the sticker in the way again box number on that if you folks care 359 359 box number 1516 upper deck series one EP9 goes to 2 and 0 here on C49 hockey bricks Sunday special uploads of six pack Saturdays if you folks enjoyed this six pack Saturday, uh, six pack Saturday. If you guys enjoyed this Pack Wars Sunday special upload, make sure to leave a like. Comment below if there is any uh, products you would like to see broken in future box breaks or six pack Saturdays. We still haven't hit that elusive Connor McDavid Young Guns. Even uh, give it a shot here on. Uh, some pack wars still couldn't hit it so uh we'll still be uh giving it a shot on six pack saturdays if you folks enjoyed uh enjoyed this break make sure to feel uh make sure to give it a like comment below if there's any products you'd like to see on six pack saturdays or future box breaks and if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss future box breaks six pack saturdays or any future Sunday special uploads I do have more scheduled to be filmed here in the very near future so uh, you're not going to want to not be subscribed because there is going to be plenty of uploads coming up here despite the temporary hold on the Sunday box breaks thanks folks for tuning in to Sunday special Pack Wars 1516 Upper Deck Series 1.